goes on. There's no more bets. Thank you. We're set to go. Christie's girl. Did you want to see her in front? Away. She began okay. She's mustering on the inside, but there's a challenge hanging in there. They burn her off. She's gone back to last. Christie's girl. Lachine is handy, but hanging in there has got a length uh, two and a half, three length lead now. Lockling around the outside is stoking up. Lachine's trying to go with it. Behind those was Electro Bale. Following those through, Dina Norfolk. Von Tusers back at the tail end of the field. Back there with it was Memory Assassin and Christie's girl's last into the front straight. Here comes Lockling. Lockling looms up, takes it. Lockling. Von Dusser flashed home late to grab second, Lachine third, getting awfully tired, he in there, did it hang on for fourth, I'm not really sure, they swamped at either side, Dinah Norfolk wasn't too far away, Memory Assassin, then behind those, Electro Bale and Christie's Girl was one of the last to pull up, the time 30.05, it's 5.38, and standing by for fourth, it's number six that gets fourth. Five, three, eight, six. Hang in there, had a good lead, but got awfully tired over the concluding stages. Five, three, eight, six, judges' numbers. Five, three, eight, six. And Lockling, uh, who was picked at longer odds, opened up at $11. Punters like that. Moved him into six fifty and jumped at around $7.50. Always hard to hold out with a clear run and lob pretty handy. He was strong to the finish as usual. Black Dog, April 2014. Lock and Var Marlow had a clinger.